I am Dr. Aruna Prasad, consultant dermatologist and cosmetologist, practicing in Pranav Skin and Cosmetology Clinic, Kalyanaga, Bangalore. Cloasma is like melasma, that is pigmentation, which is uh, commonly seen on the cheeks, malar aspect of the cheeks, nose, and some people it's even on the forehead. This uh, cloasma is seen commonly during pregnancy. The one which occurs in uh, premenopausal or postmenopausal is called as melasma. So cloasma is a name given mainly for the same pigmentation which happens during pregnancy or immediately post-pregnancy. This is purely because of the hormonal changes that happens during the pregnancy. Now, uh, depending on the depth of the pigmentation, so it could be superficial which is epidermal, it could be deep which is dermal and it could be junctional called epiderma, dermo-epidermal junction. So depending on the depth of the pigmentation, there are creams to be given. If it is superficial, the creams are enough. If it is derma epidermal, that is at the junctional level, you can do some procedures. Probably like a chemical peel or, you know, lasers and all that. But if it is really deep, that's a dermal pigmentation, ointments and peels help to an extent. Even lasers help to an extent. But beyond that, nothing really helps. But we can give them sunscreens and, you know, uh, so that it doesn't worsen and tell them to maintain with topical applications so that it doesn't darken further and maintains like that.